How's it going, folks? E.T. here with another tutorial on iMovie tutorial. But before we go into iMovie, we got to go do something special. And we're going to use another app that comes with most modern Macintoshes called Keynote. And today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create some cool animated text and titles and pretty much anything you want to animate. You can use the Keynote application to do it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Keynote. So go over to your Applications folder, which is here, or you can do a search for it. You're looking for Keynote. And uh, what you're going to do once it opens up is actually go File, then New. And you're going to go to any anyone will do. Just do the simple one. I'm going to delete this text here. I'm going to click Delete that text there. We're going to go to, uh, actually, we'll do the color first. Click on the color palette here and get as green as possible. We're trying to do a um, chroma key, a green screen. So bright, fluorescent, fluorescent-ish looking um, green. That's good enough here. And we're going to go to the document. And what you're going to do is you want to make it widescreen. That way, when you import it into the old iMovie, you don't have any issues. And now, let's add some text. So I'm going to just put something simple, like Eric was here. OK, and I'm going to actually make it bigger because it's way too small. Let's go back to where to go. There we go. And I want an oblique bold. And I want it like. 300. No, that's too big. <laughs> 150. That looks more manageable. Okay. So now, what I want to do is I want to animate this. So I'm going to go to the animate button here. I'm going to add an effect. And I just want to do a drop. Okay. Preview the drop. Bam. There you go. And I'm done. For this one, that's all we're going to do. So we'll do file. We're going to do export to, and make sure we do QuickTime so we can have it in a movie format. And um, I'm going to do 1080p. And you can leave these as they are. Sometimes I just do 0 and 0. But you can also leave them as they are. You're going to export it and name it Drop, or you know whatever you want to name it. OK? Alrighty, now it's done. So I'm gonna do I'm just gonna minimize this for now. Go over to iMovie, gonna import that clip a file. It should be on my desktop and it should be called drop. There it is. I'm gonna import it by clicking on import selected. And it'll be in my library somewhere. It'll be green, and it'll say drop there. Oh uh, no, it'll say Eric was here. So we'll highlight it and we'll drag it above the clip here. And let's make a little bit more room right there. And you notice my clips, sometimes I, I edit really big clips. I like to see the audio. Sometimes I go small. So it's really up to you. And then, of course, you can expand the clip length like that and like that. But let's, let's do it kind of big so you can see what I'm doing. Big, big old clips. So double click to highlight it in yellow. We're going to go to, actually, let's first go to, Make sure it's in the fit mode there. Then we're going to go to the actual green screen over here. And now, there's our drop. Now what I might do is actually, let me throw a black background so you can see it better. Right there, a little space background. Bam, there you go. Okay, now that's, that's the basics of how to do it. Now let's go over back to Keynote and let's mess around a little bit here. So now we can actually lower this down here. Let me make the font smaller because it's probably way too big. Let's go to 75. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in the corner. Then I'm going to animate, and I'm going to change it to a, let's do a drift. 
Okay. And we're going to actually change the duration. going to add a little bit more time to it. There you go. Okay. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that one, so let's change that one. Let's do a fly in from the left. And let's kick that down a little bit to like 1.25. There you go. Okay. Now you want more than one. Of course, you can do that too. Just add another text box. We'll put this here. And this is a great way to get around the limitations of iMovie. You have more than one animation, I mean, more, more than one title at the same time. So let's see, what will we do? Uh, I guess fail, uh, fail, <laughs> fade and scale. Let's preview that. There it goes. Let's, uh, what do we need to do here? I need to make this text bigger. It's way too, way too small and hard to read. There we go. Okay, let's go to, 75, we'll go to bold, oblique, I guess that'll work. And now, let's, let's preview it now. Let's go to the animation, preview. There it goes, that's way too, too slow. How about that? There we go. Now, if you have more than one, you have to control the, the order of how they appear. Okay. And remember, you got to build this before you bring it into iMovie. Once you bring it into iMovie, you, you can't change it. So make sure you got it the way you want it. And there's going to be a little bit of a trial and error that you're going to have to do. So you can actually click on the, the order that you want. And I'm going to do after trans, trans, uh, after trans, I was going to say translation, transition. Okay. And then here. I want it to go after build one. Now, if you do with build one, it goes at the same time. So I want it to go after build one. Then you can do a quick preview. That goes first, that goes second, okay? And of course you can uh, swap these around too if you want. Let's do after transition, we'll do this uh, after build one and let's preview. Okay, so that's good to go, we're done there. Now let's go ahead and file. We'll export that one to QuickTime Movie. We'll do 1080p. Where leave the time where it is. No big deal. Test two. Okay. Let that export. Let it create the movie version. As soon as it's done, we'll jump back into iMovie and import it. Okay. Now let's minimize that. Go back into iMovie. And we'll delete the one we have already. And let's let's go ahead and import. Test two. And let's find that clip. Where are you, test two? Probably right there. Is that it, test two? Yep. Double click to highlight the whole thing. And we'll drop it down here. And let's see what we got. No, oh, we gotta do the green screen first, of course. Let's see how it looks. Okay, you notice that the actual piece, uh, the clip itself is long, but we've already finished our animation, so there's no reason to keep it around. We're gonna go ahead and click on it and uh, split it, and we'll delete that extra piece there. Okay, now I'm recording my screen. I have iMovie open and the keynote, so it looks a little bit slow when it animates here when I'm recording but actually it's in it's full normal speed and uh, once you do it on your computer you'll be able to look at it and you'll you'll you know you'll you'll judge how you like it and of course there's a lot of different transitions you can use you can throw these over top of videos you can throw them over over um, backgrounds and again you can have them come in in you know spe specified orders if you go to keynote you know, you could have one, two, three. You can have like ten things happening all at, all on this transition at specific specifically timed intervals. So you just use your imagination. And actually, there's one more thing I might want to do. 
let's add a bit of media and I'll just add this right here and I'm gonna have that actually animate this into why not let's do drift okay so you could do that too let's change this one let's have it dissolve so you could do that let's see what else we can do I think there's some fun funky ones that we can mess with here um fireworks yeah let's do fireworks so of course it's up to you and your imagination to figure out how you're going to use this i'm just going to show you how to use the tools and um i think it's really handy that these programs come with most new modern macs and if not if you have an older mac a little bit older mac they're really not that expensive i think like 14.99 or, or something like that they're, pr they're reasonably priced so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe Drop your questions in the comments. And of course, peace with a whole lot of aloha thrown right back at you. Thanks for watching.